Hey guys, Freeze here for another Nintendo video, or rather Nintendo related video. And yeah, I have been posting a bit of videos lately and my mouse is flashing. And um, this video today is about how to get a Wii cursor on your computer. See, like the one I have here. And it got all sorts of stuff and it's just like amazing. I found out how to use it yesterday and like I just want to share it with my subscribers. And speaking of subscribers, I got like 10 subscribers yesterday or yeah, I got 11 now actually. And I'm going to do a subscriber special on that. But then uh, about this Wii cursor, um, it's completely like no viruses. Uh, you need to download the image files though. It's just the cursor files. Um, I'll prove it to you here. See? It is all those like um, cursor files. See, I'll do like the properties here. No, not not the folder. See, we'll just go ahead and do this one for the sake of example. And see, this is a cursor file. Um, dot or a dot cur file. And now, um, let's give you the download site and the download site is right here or for your convenience in the description below as usual and I'm just gonna copy down the link here and see there is the link and so far for me it doesn't have any you know, viruses or anything like that and you like those little hand cursors that we in console use as well can you use it on your computer too um and by the way this is a member divin art he made that it's not like you need to use a Wemo or anything or like that uh, I, I already have told you guys a bit earlier, but it's okay. So we could just download the pack here. And I have, since I already downloaded, and I got all those searched out right here. And the next step you need to do after you have downloaded everything and put it on your desktop for your, like, easiness. And you just go on your computer. No, not your computer. Sorry. Excuse me. I have been, I have been out of practice on my commentary lately, so sorry about that. And let's go to the hardware and sound section and click on mouse. And this is the control panel, by the way. And after you got your mouse property thingy, uh, you go to the pointer section. And um, this is a new thing I have. Okay, so your scheme should be none, like this right now. Um, ignore this. I made this myself. And that'll be a, and that could be a like a step later, like an extra step. But you know, I think it'll help. And the like, uh, I'll show you example. So, how to say like normal select and it shows the image or animation stuff. Okay, it doesn't show any animations here, I guess, because I guess there will be none or it's not like responding. My computer has a problem or something. Then, um, you want what you want to do is click on the cursor in current that you know you want to change it into the recursor. So, click on it and click browse. And you need to go on your desktop and click on the Wii cursors. And for the sake of demonstration, I'll I'll just do this. And you could put whichever then I want, but then I'll demonstrate the ones I have chosen. Like if you don't want to, like choose whichever you want for every single one of the cursors, and you just you just don't know what to do. So just like follow me. See, you click browse here. Click on that. Click browse, and then you choose one done in the folder and then I'm just gonna choose this one for a normal select and BAM see that image turned into with the Wii cursor okay and yep I'm just gonna leave that for now and when you have done every single one I'm gonna um, tell you which cursors I did um for later then after just pretend okay just after every single one has been changed uh, you need to click a save as and then you put in like Wii cursors and like or my awesome cursors or whatever you want to choose. But then it's just a specific cursor scheme. I think that might help a bit, but I don't think it's necessary. So I now I'm gonna tell you guys which one I did. So normal selects I use um this one. It's over here. See? And um for the help select I used this one. See the files right here. And my friend Timothy is also on the phone, and I'm letting him talking, and you know, whatever. And a working in background one is, hmm, which one did I use? Oh, damn it. Okay, I do not know which one I did. 
Okay, no, never mind. I think it's either one of those two. And, um, by the way, there's also straight ones and the straight cursors. And if you do not want to see those sideways things, um, I personally, I like to see that because, you know, it sh shows like that in the Wii. But then if you want the straight cursors, you can. I'm going to move Timothy's phone away a little bit from the uh, sound recording device. So, you know, and I think I use either one of those. I don't think there's a difference. I don't know. And in busy, I use the loading ring. See, that one has a little animation there as well as the working and background one. Hmm, and let's see, let's see, let's see. I think we might be running out of time actually because I can see how many times we have been recording. Right? Let's see. I use this one, the weird loading ring thingy. And for precision selects, it's the same thing as the normal select. I use the same thing. And the text select, um, you can notice it's a bit bigger than the normal one. And which is like a kind of bummer for me, but I like to choose anyways. So I think it's this one. Yep, I think it's this one. And let's see. The handwriting, I don't know why, but I chose this. So If you want to know the file, then it's right here. Um, and by the way, unavailable, I use the same thing as the busy. And by the way, if you really don't want to follow everything I have, like you don't like my handwriting thingy, then you can change it to whatever you like. It really doesn't matter, but I'm just putting as um as precise as I can and doing what I like. And unavailable is the same thing as the loading ring, again, as I said earlier. And the vertical resize, horizontal resize, diagonal resize 1 or diagonal resize 2. I both use the same thing, and it's the Wii Graph CCW thingy. And move is the same thing as the text select over here. And the alternate select, um, because of the cursor being like straight and not sideways, like the original one. So I just decided to choose this one, the repointer blue straight side. And um, as you might have noticed, every sideways cursor has a CCW at the end. I don't know what it stands for, but it's okay. And for the last one, I use this, okay? And after that, remember to click apply, alright? Or it won't save your progress. And yeah, I guess that's all the time we have. And Timothy hung up the phone. And I hope that, um, like, entertained you or helped you if you're just, like, looking for a Wii cursor to have fun with. Or if you're bored of your old scheme and try to change what your mouse looks like. And I hope this video helped you then. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this video again. I in I freeze flame, and if you like this video, just give it a like. And until the next video, I'll see you guys all later. I guess bye.